Good morning, everybody. Um, I am again tired this morning. I don't know why. I did not end up working out yesterday because I worked later and I had to do some things after that. Um, I did wake up a little bit earlier for the Orkin Man. Yeah. Anyway, breakfast today is a leftover. Um, I had a couple packets left of the Quaker weight control maple and brown sugar. So that's four smart points, a banana, and then we have Big Mama today for coffee. I filled it up like to here with coffee and then five tablespoons of the sweet Italian cream sugar-free coffee mate for two smart points. And then I think like four tablespoons of unsweetened vanilla almond milk for zero. So total breakfast is six smart points. Does anybody else just get incensed when people can't do their jobs correctly? <laughs> oh well. Anyway, a few things. One, I'm avoiding getting in my car today, although I really do have an errand I want to run, but I'm gonna give it probably another day to work its magic in there. <laughs> And I'm hoping Chad can deal with any of the result. Secondly, or thirdly, second, um, I may have ordered 10 bags of the Jelly Belly Sour Jelly Beans Sugar Free last night. And I'm really excited because that is my favorite jelly bean, is the Sour Jelly Beans from Jelly Belly except they have a sugar-free version and they're only two points for like 30 something pieces. So I was like, how am I gonna survive Easter without jelly beans? So they're on their way and they should be here tomorrow or the next day. I ordered them from Nettrition and they're super fast, so yay. My hair's in a ponytail again today. Can we talk about the sadness that is my ponytail? I mean, how thin it is. Thank you, hypothyroidism, for making me lose all my hair. Appreciate ya. I've just been not working for the past, like, hour because, not hour, maybe like half an hour because someone's supposed to be fixing my work computer, but they're not doing a very good job. So, I haven't decided what I'll have for lunch today, but I think it might be a sandwich because I forgot that I bought, um sandwich meat like two weeks ago and I haven't used it yet so I really should probably do that and maybe some fruit and some uh, popped rice snacks ooh all right I will show you that later I am excited about this lunch it is two of the Aunt Millie's 35 calorie whole grain bread slices for two smart points that I toasted and then I spread a queso fresco chipotle uh, laughing cow wedge on them for one point so that is three points so far then I did two ounces of the chipotle seasoned chicken breast for one point so two three four so my sandwich is four points and then I have lettuce onion and then I cut up a dill pickle spear on it and then I have 17 of the Quaker Popped Rice Crisps in the ranch flavor for four points. So total for lunch is eight points. I'll probably have some fruit later. I was munching on some grapes while I was waiting for the person to fix my computer. They're still doing it. It is currently eh, 1.57, eating late again. <laughs> um, but I will chat with you in a little bit. Didn't get any makeup today, sorry. Guess what I'm really excited to do? I'm very excited to try Kettlebell. I think I'm gonna do that today because the set that I bought came with like a DVD. And then Chad loves me. I asked him if he, if a mouse gets trapped, if he would dispose of it. And he said, yeah. Oh, how romantical. He really loves me. Um, oh, it looks like it's going to rain, rain, rain. I love when it rains, though. Okay, so it is about 4.45. I'm just logging off work now, see? And, um... 
that's <laughs> what um I'm gonna go change and I'm gonna go do the little kettlebell workout I don't know how long it is but I'm gonna do that I think I might need a snack because I'm a little bit hungry so if I do eat something I will show you what it is okay for snack I'm going to have 12 of these townhouse pita sea salt crackers for four points and then I did three or 0.75 ounces of the Trader Joe's roasted garlic hummus for one point. So this is five points altogether. Y'all, kettlebell is no joke. It was really cool and you could absolutely feel like all of your muscles working at the same time. And I think it's going to be fabulous for toning for me. But dang! It's hard. I mean, I didn't think it was going to be that difficult and that I would sweat that much and be that like short of breath and trying to catch my breath and everything, but they're not messing around with kettlebell. I wanted to show you the one that I got. I got it at Meyer. Um, again, I'm in Michigan and that's kind of a sort of Midwest grocery store, I think, because I know they have them in Indiana. Um, but you might be able to Google it and, you know, order it if you want it. Um, it was pretty cool because it comes with three different kettlebell, or actually four different kettlebell weights and a DVD with three workouts, a warm-up and a cool-down. Um, I probably, I don't know, it was maybe like 40 minutes total probably, but you can easily break them down because they are separated on the DVD as far as like a cardio an upper and a lower workout. I just did all three to see what it was about for the first time. So I will show you what I have. Okay, this is the kettlebell I have. It's by Empower and they, this is what it looks like. So each of these, these two discs unscrew from each other. So you can have just this, which is five pounds or this is an additional three pounds and this is an additional four pounds. So it is 12 pounds all together or you can like mix and match them and put them to together differently. Um, and like I said, it comes with a DVD, five pounds, eight pounds, 12 pounds. Um, and it was freaking hard and I just used five pounds. A total body fitness solution designed exclusively for women burn fat and sculpt muscles with three weight options to maximize your workout. Isn't that fabulous? So it was $40, which I think is really decent because kettlebell workouts or just kettlebells in general can like one can be 40 bucks. So I thought this was a really good deal. Okay. Dinner time. I'm going to have a cup of the Trader Joe's mandarin orange chicken that is nine points what i did was just make the entire bag um because there's like a sauce you have to mix with it and stuff so i just have the rest in here and i'll use it throughout the week i have a cup of the this is a totally a trader joe's meal i have a cup of the trader joe's fried rice for one point and i added some broccoli i also added what did i say trader joe's fried rice one cup is five points I added some broccoli and I added a quarter cup of the egg substitute for zero. Then I have two of the gyoza, the pork gyoza pot stickers. That is two points and I just drizzled some of this stuff on it. Um, I don't think I, I used half a tablespoon, so it's zero. Okay, so nine, five, two is 16 points for dinner. Snuggle time. Look at these little. Oh, hi. Look at these little ears. Boop, boop. <laughs> I had to come in our bedroom because Chad's doing a recruiting call and he is so loud. He tells me that I'm loud when I do FaceTime, but he is like so loud. Anyway, that chicken was so delicious. And he ended up eating the rest that I had left over, which I'm glad because I'm glad he likes it. That way I can buy it again and I know I won't have a ton of leftovers to deal with. So then I have three, gosh, I look terrible. I'm sorry. I have three smart points left for the day. 
So I'm gonna have this chocolate, this mini like chocolate fudge bar from Weight Watchers. It's two points. So I will end up with one extra point for the day. Um, I might have an apple. I might not. It's nine, around nine ten right now. So we'll see. But you know that I ended up with one smart point left for the day. And that dinner was so good. Oh my gosh. It was so, so good. If you know Panda Express, and it's, I mean, it's a fast food place, so it's a terrible comparison, but it's like their orange chicken, which can be really good sometimes. And this was really good, but like better than their really good orange chicken. So, and I'm sure this is far less in points compared to like Panda Express or something like that. So I just love that we can find all these like favorite types of foods and make them absolutely Weight Watcher friendly, like pizza, like Mexican, like Chinese. So great day guys. And that kettlebell workout, I am so impressed. Like I know tomorrow I'm excited to like go to sleep and wake up tomorrow and see how I feel because I know that it worked like every inch of my body. It was really tough, but it was really like rewarding feeling like I really felt like I did a lot of work and even if I um, you know had to like pause or something to catch my breath or to I don't have very good balance I've found so you have to do some like things in lunge positions for the lower body and I always <laughs> fall over pretty much but I mean even with like pausing to catch myself or like refigure my balance, um, I still felt like I put in a really good effort and it was giving me a lot back. So I would really recommend it if you can find that set, um, either in a, a grocery store or um, online. Um, maybe I'll try and search for it and if I can find it, I'll put it down in the description box. Um, the inst Like the person that you're watching and following is so not intimidating um, you know how, how like some instructors can just be like so ripped and, and like tiny and you just feel like you can't relate to this person. Like you can't, you, you're almost like angry at them because they're tiny. <laughs> just me. Um, but she wasn't at all. Like she was, I don't know, like I felt comfortable with her in a weird way because, you know, of course <laughs> she's on a DVD and I'm just watching her, but. I think it was really, really good. Okay, I'm gonna have my little ice cream bar and maybe an apple, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow I have an eye doctor appointment, so I'm very excited because I get to, I'm gonna try on new glasses, yay! And I told M from L M Wilson Fit Fam that I might be a copycat and <laughs> do the ones she has because I love them so much. I wanna do something like that, like tortoiseshell. I love tortoiseshell. Or, you know, I have purple ones right now, but they're two prescriptions behind. So I can wear them around the house, but I can't wear them out. And even around the house, it's kind of like, what? So I, I might want to get those updated because I do like those frames. But also I want to get like a, like a more warm colored pair. Um, okay, I hope you have a great night. Thanks for watching, and oh my gosh, I have like 240 subscribers. That is insane, but totally cool. Thank you so much for subscribing. I'm so glad that you guys like this and like me, like what I'm doing. Um, I hope it doesn't get too boring as far as having like every single day just what I'm eating and then like a grocery haul here and there and like maybe a car vlog. Um, I'm not a cook, you can tell that. I don't usually come up with recipes. So, I mean, I don't really have like a cook with me video I could do. I know those are great, but I'm just not that, I'm terrible at cooking. I'm the worst recipe reader, so I would be really bad at that. Um, if you can think of anything else you might want me to do, I mean, I'm definitely open to suggestions, so let me know down below. Have a great night. Bye.